I'm going to present the results of phase two study where we, investig we investigated new monoclonal antibody directed against FCR neonatal receptor. The study is very important because it confirmed the hypothesis that we can decrease the level of pathogenic antibodies directed against platelets and megakaryocytes to increase the number of platelets in the blood. Uh, it was known for many years that FCR receptor protect catabolism of IgG. So we hypothesized and when we block function of FCR receptor, we can decrease the level of antibodies against platelets. So I'm going to present tomorrow the results of phase two study, final results of the study, where we investigated new monoclonal antibody, Rosano Lixizumab, which was investigated to block this FCR receptor. We performed the phase two trial in patients who were previously treated and responded to the treatment. We recruited to 66 patients for the study. The patients were divided into five cohorts. We started with lower dose of the drug given weekly for five weeks and subsequently we increased the dose of the drug in the next two cohorts and reduced the number of injections. In the two final cohorts, we used only one high dose of the drug. The drug was given subcutaneously uh, and we have now the final results of the study. So we have shown that the drug is safe and well tolerated by the patients. It was the primary endpoint end of the study to check tolerability of the drug. So we observed only four patients with serious adverse events, but not drug related. We observed that only about 30% of the adverse events were drug related, most commonly headache uh, and gastrointestinal disturbances. Uh, fortunately, we did not observe increase of infections, especially heavy, heavy opportunistic infections. Only four patients developed upper res respiral, respiratory tract infections, but only mild or moderate. We observed that the treatment was effective, uh, that the treatment effectively increased the number of platelets in more than half of the patients. The drug, the response was quick, quicker observed in patients who received higher doses of the drug. Single higher doses, most of the patients responded by day eight. When we used lower doses, patients responded mainly after eight days of the treatment. So the drug was effective to increase the number of the platelets. On the other hand, we investigated also the level of immunoglobulins to confirm the mechanism of action of this drug. So simultaneously to the increase of the platelets, we so increase in the IgG level, the most, uh, in most decrease we observed in patients who received higher doses, which increased simultaneously platelets more commonly and for the highest level. In patients who received higher doses of the drug, uh, most patients responded with platelet number above 100,000. So 
to conclude the results of our study, we can say that we developed the new drug which can be effective in the treatment of patients, especially those patients who do not respond for previous therapies. And in addition, the safety of the drug increase its value, as especially in the prolonged treatment can be much safer than commonly used glucocorticosteroids. So the results of the study support initiation of phase three trials, which confirm our observation in this phase two study.